Had a few questions about how to install the AC up towards the ceiling. It's really the same, more or less, but some people ask me, so I'm going to show you. And I know you're seeing something I say I never do. A drain. No, it's not draining straight down. It'll drain out the side. Now, I did install a drain on this because it is a air conditioner that I've never used before. And of course, it seems like it's new technology. But I read the owner's manual, which you should always do. Don't take my word for it. And it said that if installed properly, you should not have to use the drain hole. Well, this one actually has a drain hole. Those Toshibas that I use, they don't even have a drain hole. So there's no season reason put in a drain. But this one says, if used properly. So all of the water is going to go into a pan here. And then it's going to get kicked up by this fan onto... Oh, boy, here we go. Onto this grill. The inside part. And it'll be evaporated. And it'll help cool. So it's new technology, but I guess they just weren't quite sure. So I'm going to follow the rules, follow the directions, and I'll just put a little drain in there. I don't think it'll ever be used, but I will keep an eye on it, and I will let you know. So it's a 5,000 unit. Now, if you've got uh, any 15-foot Scotty or bigger, it's going to have a design similar to this. Or if you have a front kitchen, you're going to have a design similar to this. So uh, it should be able to work for you. Just make sure you take your measurements. I'm going to show you what I'm doing next. This is the box that I make. I put this on the back, the exhaust of the AC, where those grates are. Now, the only thing really special other than this is just a box. These are just, I mean, there's nothing special about this. I just put these on here so that I can drill into the side of the camper. And then these are in here just for 90 degree stability. So really, it's a square box. This one, you gotta measure all your air conditioners, it's gonna be a little bit different. But uh, this one is gonna be 17 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. But now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. When you install your AC, for it to work efficiently, properly, you've got to tilt it down. Recommendation is a half inch to, uh, I think one inch, one, one and a quarter. So anywhere in there is going to let that evaporation or that water that accumulates, condensation, I think, it's one of those stations, that it's got to go back there to that little tub that the fan can come up and kick it onto the coils. So that's what we want. And that's why we don't think that it's ever going to leak because that's how it's designed. You never know. We follow the directions. So when you lean something back and it's a square, you lean it back like this, this is now closer to the wall than this is. That's a terrible representation, but you get it. So you've got to make, since this is closer, you've got to make one, or the one on the top, has to be shorter going to the wall. And it's only going to be about a half inch shorter. And you can't even hardly notice it on this one. Let me pull that back. This is 11 inches up here. This is 11 and a quarter. Again, You've got to make your own measurements because it does nothing to do really with the air conditioner. It has to do with the depth of your cam uh, your uh, cabinet. So the top one is going to be shorter because the AC leans into it. If it's not shorter when you take your measurement, then we've got a problem. And when we, I'm gonna put this in here real quick. So, let me get this out of here for you. Oh, geez. I'm sure Russell. 
edit that out. So what I wanted to show you before I was so rudely interrupted is it's going to sit in here. Now, this is going to be up higher than here, but I'm not going to pull. I'm just going to ease this in here. So you could see we never want to cover our vents. So we have about one and a quarter right here that we need to add to this. So really these, this measurement was 10 inches and this was nine and a half. We added our one and a quarter and we came up with I think 11 and uh, uh, 11 and a half. So the main thing is just don't cover your vents. They've got to get this fresh air in and up here fresh air has got to come in here. So by sealing this off like this, the exhaust is forced out the back and it doesn't mix with the fresh air. If you don't get this sealed properly, like you leave a half inch gap up here, this hot air is just going to come in here and keep recycling and keep recycling. And it's not going to do its job in the manner that you want it to do its job. So, Leave these alone, cover this up. Leave these alone, cover this up. Now I'm going to take this whole thing into the cabinet in here. And I've already made a little access hole because I'm not going to uh, cut the exact out until I get it placed. I don't want to be off because the vent is what the vent is and I don't want to add more wood back in, so I'm not gonna take that much out. But I'm going to set that uh, box in here, the exhaust box, if you will, and then I'm going to put in the AC and get it set. Then I'll come in from the back and I will set the box. And then I'll nail it from the outside, Brad nail it in from the outside on all four sides and it should be perfect right then. And I'll check to make sure that we've got our half inch to three quarter inch drop so that we don't need to use our drain. At least if this is nasty, yeah, it's just going to go wow right out the side. I'll have to find some cool way to disguise that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right, well, I'll do that and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let me show you the roughed in finished product. So you can see we have isolated the exhaust and it'll come out right here. And I don't know if you can even see it, but I did put in a little bit of uh, oh, foam just to make sure it's isolated. And then I went next door and there's the air in. Kind of had to do it a little differently this time and I'm going to show you why because they're just, this is a small, small camper. There wasn't really enough room to put it on either side or top to bottom. At least it didn't work with my design. Let's run inside real quick and show you what I did. So there's the AC on the inside. I'm going to trim that out, but you can see we put some foam on the bottom and on the sides like that, just so that uh, we're not going to have any problem with interior cold air getting into our fresh air. Then I came into the potty closet and that you saw those four holes. Those are right there. Then I just built a little cabinet right here. It's about three, four inches wide. And then I put about 14 three inch holes with a hole saw through here on the inside. Obviously you can't see them. And it's really sucking the air in. I, I was checking it out. It's pulling the air in just real nice. The exhaust is pushing the air out and this is cold. So that's what I do it. Some people don't like it. Some people do it differently. That's the way I do it. It always works and everybody seems to be happy. Hope you are too.